Hi, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today, it's the future of agentic computing on your Windows desktop in the far off future year of 2030. Presented by Johnny Bravo, Microsoft has sort of released its exciting new Vision 2030, which, remember, is five years from now. It's not clear how hard Microsoft is standing by this Future Vision video. It's an unlisted YouTube video, but it's right there on the official Windows channel. And boy, is it getting comments from people whose vision of Windows in 2025 is, could it just work properly? Please. The speaker is David Weston, Microsoft's Corporate Vice President of Enterprise and Operating System Security. Like all Microsoft vice presidents who make an official promo video, he has a haircut looks like he just flew in from the Cartoon Network. That's how Microsoft keeps its edge as an enterprise office supply company. Microsoft has a several decades record of pushing these bizarre fever dreams about the future of computing. They always involve stuff that does not exist, and Microsoft sure doesn't know how to do them either. But also, it's all still running in Windows. David Weston is, or was, actually a techie. But this video is artisanal corporate slop, handmade the old way. I won't be so rude as to say it was written by ChatGPT, because some people just write and talk like that, and they're corporate vice presidents at Microsoft. You know this is already about This year's big Microsoft AI push. Everything is a chatbot. I think we will do less with our eyes and more talking to our computers. And I truly believe the future version of Windows and other Microsoft operating systems will interact in both a a multimodal way. The computer will be able to see what we see, hear what we hear, and we can talk to it and ask it to do much more sophisticated things. So I think this will be a much more natural form of communication. Weston doesn't specify any of what that's supposed to mean in anything like a detail. And also, it doesn't exist. But you will definitely work on your spreadsheets in Excel in a multimodal way. In fact, Microsoft has great visions for the far-flung future of computing itself in the far-off year of 2030. And then the third thing I think is a clear trend in my mind is um, we will have unlimited compute in the form of quantum. That's actual quantum computing on your PC, right? By 2030, that'll be in Windows, right? And it'll still be Windows, the operating system whose most important selling point is it runs 30 years of old programs properly. Cool. Weston has a vision of the future, and it's that nobody will type or use words online anymore. That's deprecated. Come on, Grandpa, get hip with the young ideal. The world of sort of mousing around and keyboarding around and typing will feel as alien as it does to Gen Z to sort of use DOS. Can't wait till the gamers get hold of that one. Guys, guys, I'm going to kick so much backside at Call of Duty, Duty Harder when I replace my mouse and keyboard with an agentic AI voice interface. <clears throat> Copilot, please pwn this mumble flipper. Will do, Chief. Poning mumble flipper now. Mumble flipper pwned. Thank you, Copilot. Also, Copilot, please compile a suitable list of slurs to call the defeated noob and his mother. I'm sorry. You are in the UK, and I will require age verification. No! Darn it! Mom! <clears throat> yeah, I can't see the kids not being right into that one. On the positive side, I expect a whole new wave of the young persons getting into Steam for Linux, where all our Windows games actually do run without an AI butting in or ads in the start menu. That's my vision for 2025. It might be yours too. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. Please do hit like and subscribe 
leave a podcast review and do forward this video to at least one other person. It should be the video version so you can see Mr. Weston in action. A pain shared is a pain doubled. If you want to help our work here at Pivot, it would help so much if you just drop $5 into the Patreon in the show notes below. Thank you all. See you tomorrow and bye for now.